Greg Roman. Seems like we ain't heard that name in a long time. Like, it, it feels like he hasn't been with the Ravens in forever. Because I would be so used to going on Twitter, seeing people talk about Greg Roman. We had plenty of conversations about Greg Roman on here, too. But I was so used to it. But now it's like, it seems like it's been so long since we heard his name. And I remember when uh, Ravens and Greg Roman uh, mutually decided to part ways with each other that Greg Roman, he had an interview with uh, right down the street with the Washington Commanders. But this was before uh, Eric bien He ended up getting the job. Uh, so we'll see how that works itself out. But Greg Roman was somebody that I was for sure like a hey, uh, before during the season when he interviewed with Stanford and that article came out like, hey, Stanford, they getting ready to hire Greg Roman. I was like, oh, okay. My guy getting ready to get a job. He going to college to go be the coach over there. All right, Greg Roman, let's go. But then it came out like a couple of days after that. Oh, no, they decided to go in a different direction. So, like, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, then the offseason happened. And then the Ravens and the Ravens, they mutually parted ways. And I was thinking, oh, yeah, he's he going to get a job as an NFL coach for sure. Somebody going to hire him as an offensive coordinator. He's a good introductory guy to, to, to introduce a quarterback to the NFL because uh, he'll do some things that can make the quarterback's job easier and it will alleviate a lot of pressure off the quarterback early on in his career. But nothing. Nothing happened. And I was shocked. And I was shocked. And the way, as, as crazy as this offseason has been, um, it, it made me, it, it didn't even allow me to realize, excuse me, it made me forget about Greg Roman and the fact that he was still out there. But Greg Roman was, he talked to the 33rd team uh, in an interview. And he said that as far as the NFL, he said it's taking his season off. He's taking a little break. Uh, and with this break, he'll get to spend more time with his family because that is true and that's a beautiful thing. Um, he said he will be doing a little bit with a college team. Didn't say who it was, but did say that he would be involved in high school football as well. Um, so I guess wh whatever he'll be doing, there will be a lot less commitment uh, both ways. There will be a lot less commitment from whoever he's working with to him. And there will be a lot less commitment from whoever uh, he's working with from him. So he'll be able to have that much more flexibility because and he talked about in, in the brief clip that I'm sure we've all seen by now. But he talked about with the NFL, like when you're working and, and you, you're working for a team and whatnot in the NFL. Like he's he like, oh, I could tell you, like, if you ask me, uh, what, am, what am I doing this day? I could tell you on my schedule at what time I'll be doing this, that and X, Y and Z. Da, da, da. But he basically was saying, hey, when you're working in the NFL, you, you are busy. You are extremely busy. You all in and that's it. But now that he won't be this year. You ain't got to worry about that. So I'm happy for Greg Roman. Now, I, I do think that because um, it's like I guess the, the right opportunity didn't come along because we see it with football players all the time. If nothing's buzzing for them, if they're a free agent and nothing's jumping, they'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm just waiting on the right opportunity. Or they'll be like, oh, I'm taking some time off. But then when that phone call ring and they get, they get the right call, they're like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm ready. Let's go, baby. But nah, I guess for Greg Roman just – the right opportunity didn't come along and maybe he did some self-reflection. I was like, you know what? I made some good money. I was once the, the, the highest paid offensive coordinator in the game. So I done made some good money. Now, you know what? I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to relax now. I'm going to take it off. Now, one thing that I do wonder, though, now with him saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this year off from the NFL, not from football completely, but from the NFL. I wonder if the right team came along, if he would change his tune. Because sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes all it takes is the right opportunity, and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> bye, family, I'm out of here. At least for NFL people, they could do that. Um, but I just wonder. Because, I mean, I, I, was, I was hoping that he was going to get a job in Washington. Because I'm like, man, he ain't even got to move. He ain't even got to move. He go hop on the, the, the parkway, the beltway or whatnot. He's right down the street, straight. I take you like an hour to get to work on. I don't know where he lived or whatever, but he ain't got, he he wouldn't even have to move. That would make it so easier to transition for his family, for his kids and whatnot. But obviously it didn't work out. So now Greg Roman is like, you know what? I'm gonna chill. And I respect it. I respect it. Him uh kind of calling his own shots. And you're like, you know what? That's it for me. So just like uh Greg Roman is this year. 
with the NFL when it comes to coaching in the league, I'm out.